I mean, I think we've got to see a breakdown of the chair shot to JBL, right? That's got to be on there. You guys with this chair shot. <laughs> I still feel bad about that. I didn't. Oh, no, you don't. Crazy. Come on. No, I really do. I mean, we're laughing about it, but, you know, I, I really do. I mean, John laughs about it now, too, thank God. But, you know, that's not what we're in the business for. And, you know, people can think the way they want to think. I, I told this story when I did the interview with James. You were talking about James from WSI. Yeah. And he asked me about it, and I was talking, and I literally said, once again, the reason why I have this kind of overthinking mindset, which works with this, I'm talking to John, and I said, dude, you're so tall. I don't know if I can hit you properly with the chair with, with you standing. Dude's like, what, six, six, 300 pounds. I mean, he's a yeah. monster. Yeah. So I asked him, is there any way you can be on one knee or something where I can get you? And he was like, no, no, just, just lay into me. No big deal. He was totally cool about it. So even in my mind, I knew he's way up there. I'm not going to be able to hit him fully with the seat. I never knew it was going to be what it was. But I knew he was going, it was going to be a live round to some extent that he was going to get. That is up there. That's top three chair shots that people talk about. You know, one is the rock to Ken Shamrock's face. <sighs> yeah, that's. <laughs> I think that's the other one is uh, Jeff Hardy to Brock Lesnar during the debut. And like he just smacks him in the face and Brock Lesnar completely no sells it. And then there's this one to JBL. I, I didn't hit him in the face. So at least I have that going for me. But you hit him like you were hitting like a grand slam out of the park. I, I don't look at it that way. I really don't. I mean, it might be a, a lucky or unlucky chair shot. But if you look, I never, I've never been a great chair shot guy unless it's to the back. Because the chair shot, maybe I should do a video just on chair shots. Clearly you, know? you should. Because that one there, if I go to the side here. Please. I'm going to break like, down right now. I love it. <laughs> I'm literally going like this. If you look at it, I'm flicking my wrist because he's so tall. The power of the chair shot, watch Balls Mahoney because he does this. Yeah. The power of the chair shot is almost like you're treating it like a slam ball over the head or over the back. So the power doesn't come up here off camera. The power is literally from almost just above parallel to the floor and then through the person you're hitting with the chair. Does that make sense? Of course. And this is great with the visuals. I feel like this is a video. This is a video you need to put on the channel. Oh my God, it's free. I would, it doesn't do the Patreon any good. No. <laughs> but, 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 but you know what? That's, that's what I was looking at. Even then I'm on one foot. You, you literally can see me reaching up to hit John in the head. Because chances are, if I didn't do that, I would have hit him in the face. Mm. And that would have been, I didn't want to do it like I did it there, but that would have been even worse. Do you feel bad about it because he got hurt or you just feel bad about it because it's still a thing people talk about however many years later? I, I feel bad about it because it's not what I was trained to do. Mm. I was not trained to hurt people. I was not, I didn't want a reputation. I never had a reputation for hurting people on purpose. And I knew after this, I mean, if Vince released me for hurting him to that degree, it might not have been fair in people's eyes, but I can understand it because that's not what we do. Ah, that would also be ironic since JBL has been known to, you know, kind of rough some other people up. Well, we do have something called double standards in pro wrestling. I don't know if you ever heard of them. <laughs> people, people don't get treated equally. Have you ever seen me after you come back from a break in a, a Marine trailer and I'm standing in the ring. Uh, life isn't fair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got so come on, you got some entrances. What are you talking about? I I I like the Marine trailer. I John Cena and I had actually had a running joke where I would pop so huge because it was literally to the point where it was probably 15 marine trailers, and <laughs> like I'd come to the ring during the break, marine trailer, and it got to the point where I was getting people to try to be like. I'd say they got a hostage and the people were like, it's my <laughs> wife. They went to the crowd during commercial. So John would do that with me sometimes. And he goes, hey, Stevie, they have a hostage. <laughs> is it my wife? <laughs> it is. It's my wife. 